You gave me an F on my book report? An F? It was an accurate reflection of the quality of the report. I cannot have an F on my record. You need to change it now. I can't do that. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you to change it. Do you know who my parents are? Kimberly, you have been slacking off all year. Your homework is never on time. You don't participate in class. And I know for a fact you use chat GPT to write that report. I'm sorry you're upset, but the F stands. You should really think about this. I'll give you one more chance to change my grade or... Or what? Do you think threatening me is going to work? Besides, even if I changed your grade, which I won't, you would only be cheating yourself. You're gonna wish you listened to me when you had the chance. Just you wait. Thanks, Miss Riley. I feel like I finally get it. You're welcome, Kelsey. And anytime you need more after school tutoring, you just let me know. Mrs. Riley, my office, now. Is there a problem? Kim has made some very serious allegations against you, Mrs. Riley. She claims you've been harassing and bullying her. Bullying? I'd never bully one of my students. Kimberly has had a tough year, that's true. Uh, but she dug her own hole by not taking her academic career seriously. My daughter is only struggling because you keep picking on her. Yeah, she told us all about it. I've never picked on one of my students. Are you calling our sweet angel a liar? I always give my best to my students and I work hard to help them achieve whatever dreams they have. I, it's why I get up every morning. I have done nothing but try to help Kim succeed, but she doesn't put in the work. Oh, please, that is not true. You are just jealous of our Kim because of her intelligence and the fact that her parents have money. That is exactly why you are intentionally failing our daughter. What? Mm. That's outrageous. Yes, it is. I just keep it together, folks. I'm afraid I must take these allegations seriously, Mrs. Riley. I'm gonna have to let you go. Let me go? I've taught here for almost 50 years. This job is my life. What a sad life. Please, Paul. I love teaching. My students, they need me. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Your actions left me with no choice. You're fired. Collect all your things and they want you off the school grounds in an hour. Can I at least tell you my side of this story? In an hour. Got it? Told you regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. For doing the right thing. Just in ten, you're back. <laughs> hey, Earl! You look exactly the same. Did you find the Fountain of Youth or something? Well, I haven't changed at all, but you certainly have. <laughs> look at you all grown up and stuff. I heard you're a top-time lawyer in D.C. Uh-huh. What brings you back here? Uh, actually, I just moved back here, mm -hmm. and I opened up my own firm. Oh, and I was driving by, and I was hoping to say hi to Mrs. Riley's. Her classroom's still 304. Oh, uh, about Miss Riley. 
They let her go just the other day. They fired Mrs. Riley? What happened? Apparently, she failed this rich girl, and her parents got in a big stink with the principal Jeffers. Now, they said Miss Riley arrested, bullied the girl. Bullying Mrs. Riley? That's crazy. She is the last teacher who would bully a student. I agree with you. I figure the girl's rich father paid Jeffers off to fire. What makes you say that? One of the perks of being a janitor around here said nobody pays attention to you. And some of these students, they say some of the most outlandish stuff when they don't think anybody here. Mm. I think you ought to take a look at Jeffers' new watch. Cost more than my car. Hey, Earl. Uh, do you know where Mrs. Riley lives? Uh. Oh, Mr. Duke, what are you doing here? I'm here to collect the rent. You're two weeks late. I'm sorry, I know I'm behind, but I lost my teaching job. I promise I'll find a way to get the money I owe you, but I'm gonna need a little time. I can't let you live here if you don't pay the rent. I understand, Mr. Dib. Thank you. Mrs. Riley? Hey, Mrs. Riley. Justin? Yeah. Look at you, Justin. It's been so long. What are you doing here? I'm looking for you, actually. Well, come in. Come in. It's wonderful to see you doing so well, Justin. I always knew you'd hit it big. <laughs> well, uh, you had a lot to do with it. That's sweet, but you did all the hard work. Listen, I heard what happened with your job. How are you holding up? Not too well, if I'm being honest. It's scary not knowing how you're going to make ends meet. It's not the money that upsets me. It's losing the job. I dedicated my entire life to teaching. And without my students, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hey, I know it's bleak right now, but you can't give up. Don't you remember the advice you gave me back when I was a student? I'll remind you. You see, when my family first moved to the district, I was bullied every day. It ate away at my confidence. My grades were terrible. I had no friends. I was ready to give up. It's not like my parents were any help. My dad was too busy calling me a nuisance to care about what I was going through. I was on the verge of dropping out entirely. Until the day you stood up for me. You took time out of your own life to help me get my grades up, to start believing in myself. You changed my life. So you see, I owe you a lot. If you hadn't taught me to believe in myself, I don't know where I'd be in life right now. And that's why I want to help you now. That's kind, but I didn't help you to get something from you. <laughs> I know. And, and that makes me want to help you even more. You used to always say that your dream was to become a principal. Is that still true? Yes. It still is. Then let's go for a ride. 
There's something you should see. Don't touch me! This is ridiculous! They can't just fire me! Let me go! I'm gonna talk to the union about this! Let me go! Let me go! You got Paul fired? As a lawyer, I often work with a terrific private investigator. As it turns out, Kim's parents bribed Paul to fire you. Also, Kim has been expelled. I guess she never learned that taking the easy way out only leads to ruin. You remembered that after all these years. It's hard to forget a lesson as valuable as that. It changed my life. So, the school needs a new principal, and I've already spoken to the superintendent. The job is yours, if you want it. Really? No, I, I couldn't. It's too much. It's not too much. It's exactly what you deserve. You've spent years spreading kindness and goodness into the world, helping kids like me who no one else cared about when there was nothing in it for you. And now here it is, all coming back to you. This is your chance to help even more students, just like you did for me. What do you say? I say yes. Thank you, Justin. Oh, thank you. Mrs. Riley.